the paradise. He will see unbelievable, amazing graces. <laughs> he would say, Oh Allah, for whom this, for which prophet, for which martyr shaheed, for which wali, righteous person, the Almighty Allah would say, it's for anybody has its price. Then the oppressor, the valim, would say, and who have the price for this, O oh Lord? The Lord would say, you have the price. Then, I'm sorry, actually, the oppressed person, not the oppressor, I'm very sorry. All of this conversation between the Almighty Allah with al mazlum not a valid It was my mistake. al mazlum the oppressed person, the person who have the right against the other person. Then the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, you own the price. He would ask, what is the price? O oh Lord, Allah would say, to forgive and ta'fuwa an akhik. To forgive your brother in Islam. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, After he forgive him, the Almighty Allah would say to him, take his hand and go to the, together to the paradise. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that the door of forgiveness is an open door before the door of judgment. We need to forgive each other. We need to open new page with each other. We need to be forgivers, seeking the forgiveness from the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the case of judgment, there is two adab. Number one, the judge must have the knowledge. The judge, we have to search for the knowledgeable judge who have the tools to judge between people. The second adab, the second etiquette, that the judge must listen to both parties. It's not enough for each party to say, I ask people of knowledge, I ask such and such scholar and he said such and such. That's not enough. If he is really scholar, he must bring both parties <coughs> and remind them for the forgiveness and educate them that no lies, no sneaky ways, no betrayal. And then he listened to both parties and then he used the tools that he has the knowledge that Allah provide him with to judge between both parties. Look at the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When two individuals came to the Prophet to judge between them, they have some allegations in business. 
The Prophet ﷺ sat between them and he said, Realize that I am a human being. I make the judgment according to what I hear from both of you. One of you, he might be having good words, good lies, good way of approaching his virgin. You have to realize from now before I make my, my judgment. If I give the right to the wrong person and you know that this is not your right, so I'm giving you peace of Jahannam. Take it or leave it. At that point, both parties they cried and they forgive each other before even the Prophet وسلم, listening to either one of them. So the first door must be the door of the fear of Allah, the door of the taqwa, the door of the iman, the door of the forgiveness between us first. If this door of forgiveness does not work for some reason, then the judge must have the knowledge and the tools and he must listen to both parties and then use the knowledge and the tools to have the judgment among people. This is the etiquette. This is how to deal with judgments. That's how to deal with elegance among Muslim community. I hope for me and you all not to be from those who carry the book exactly like the donkey when the donkey carry the equipment and the items. If you put just papers of knowledge among the donkey, don't ever be like those previous ummas that they have the documents and they have the texts, but they didn't benefit from it. The Quran is to benefit. The story of Dawood, peace be upon him, Allah mentioned this in the Quran for us to benefit and to practice this in our community. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم الجليل لي ولكم من كل ذنب 